Ah yes, planetarium, an alternative to treasure room which can provide you with some unique items, but it requires you to skip some treasure rooms in order to get you those items. But is it really worth it? Let's find out. And uh, we're beginning with uh, the most frequent item I see in the planetarium, which is the farting giant. What does it do? It gives you two heart containers and uh, a half of a uh, right heart. And uh, when you walk, you fart and leave poisonous clouds behind you, which can help you to clear uh, some rooms and deal additional damage to bosses. And the uh, downside of this item uh, is that uh, when you walk constantly, your speed is decreases which means uh, it makes you harder to avoid uh, chasing enemies and uh, champion bosses and you will take damage because of this item and uh, because of that it goes to B tier and the next item is Luna Luna is a good item and it goes straight to A tier with the explanation why it generates additional two secret rooms per floor and uh, shows one of them on the minimap. When you visit uh, secret rooms, you will get uh, a half of soul heart and uh, tears up. First secret room will pro will provide you with a plus one tears up. The rest will give you uh, 0 0.5. And in to and in total, if you visit all four secret rooms, uh, you will get uh, plus 2.5 tears and uh, two soul hearts. But keep in mind, when you go to the next floor, you will lose your tears up, but soul hearts uh, will stay with you. Why didn't I put it in uh, S tier? Just because you not often have access to those secret rooms, or maybe you inherit to boss rush or hush, and you just don't have enough time to spend on uh, exploring floor. Our next item is... Uh, the most hated item in planetarium which is mars i put it into e tier but e tier is generous for it uh, i should uh, make it a bit different like this and yes much better it's not just useless it, it is harmful for your run with Mars you can dash and deal massive damage to your enemies and while you're dashing you are invulnerable which allows you to open spike chests and uh, visit cursed room for free. That by its own doesn't sound that bad and you think uh, so what's the catch? And the catch is unintentionally dashing when you're dealing with bosses or just a lot of enemies that uh, bullet hell you and uh, you just end up uh, unintentionally dashing in uh, one direction and taking damage that you already was going to dodge. And it is especially painful when you're dealing with uh, bosses like uh, Mega Stan, Hush or Delirium that are constantly bullet helling you and uh, require you to constantly dodge their attacks. And with Mars it is impossible to not take damage with them. The only way to describe this item is a good idea, an awful execution. And the following item is Mercurius. It goes directly there. It goes immediately into S tier. Why? Because it is the whole point of the item. All the doors uh, in uncleared rooms are staying open which means with this item you can easily skip uh, the rooms that you don't want to clear or you don't have to clear and therefore providing you a great opportunity to get uh, to boss rush or hush or in general just not wasting your time on difficult rooms and dead ends moving on neptunus I'll put it in A tier and explain what does it do. Imagine cursed eye or monstrum slum without downsides. Uh, you don't have, you don't need to Im imagine that because we already have this item, and that that would be Neptunus. When you don't shoot, 
you charge attack similar to cursed eye and at the same time you still have ability to use regular attack pattern by just keep shooting the only downside of this item uh, is that it lacks synergies with the uh, quality 4 items uh, such as c-section brimstone mom's knife and uh, many other uh, interesting items it stays in a tier not only because of lack of synergies with uh, quality 4 items but when you have high tiers it is much more convenient to shoot constant instead of relying on Neptunus. It is good when you have low tiers or don't have any other alternatives. In that case it is okay, but uh, in combinations and in uh, late runs it becomes useless. Pluto. It just uh, gives you plus 7 tiers and uh, shrinks you in size. I would say it doesn't have any unique uh, attributes just because we have other similar items to this except for one thing. With enough speed and uh, little practicing you can run between rocks and you can get to I am error room from crawl space again running between blocks. It may be helpful to dodge uh, bullet hell attacks from uh, final bosses but I don't feel a difference uh, with this item and without it. It is just tears up for me. To the next item. Saturnus. Okay, I put it here and... Uh, this item... This item gives you an orbit. The orbit can catch any projectiles. And this item greatly helps you to deal with final bosses because uh, with orbit that catches their projectiles, uh, it is much easier to deal with bullet hell that they throw at you. Next, Soul. It shows you the boss room on the minimap and makes it easier to find it and essentially can help you to get to boss rush and uh, hush if you wish to go, to go there. And also, after killing boss, it will activate uh, the sun card effect which heals you full health and uh, removes curses. In addition to that, it will give you plus 3 damage and 1 luck up. This item allows you to skip floors just by going straight to a boss fight or if you wish to, you can drain all your blood in arcade or in a sacrificial room in exchange for money or soul hearts or maybe you're collecting key pieces. This item in my eyes deserves a spot in S tier. And our next subject is Terra. Terra gives you plus 1 damage up, which by its own deserves A tier, but it goes to S tier because it provides you not with just damage up. Your tiers are replaced with rocks uh, that can open secret rooms and uh, destroy uh, tainted rocks. And also it allows you to skip rooms uh, by destroying the doors. In a way it is similar to Mercurius. And still, this item offers even more. You see, each tier has a random multiplier between 0.5 to 2.5, which means you can deal even additional damage, uh, or in some cases uh, your damage will be reduced. But after all, you have a higher damage output with this item. And our next item is Uranus. Isaac starts shooting icicles and upon killing an enemy, it freezes them. This item is great against those enemies that do nasty things when you kill them. Those uh, enemies that spawn a lot of uh, spiders when you kill them, or bomb flies that explode when you kill them. But freezing enemies may also be harmful for you, especially in those rooms where you are dealing with huge amount of enemies and they are chasing you. You kill one and that frozen enemy becomes an obstacle, preventing you hitting enemies behind him. And because of this downside of item, I always think picking it up or not. If I don't have any piercing tears, uh, I would rather not. But if I have piercing tears uh, or brimstone or any other laser attacks, 
I gladly take it. And that being said, I put it into C tier. And the last item is Venus. This is just top tier item. With this item you can clear rooms without even shooting. So how does it do? First of all, it gives you 1 HP up. And second of all, it gives you a charmy aura, which uh, charms enemies. If enemy comes close to you, it becomes charmed and uh, will fight for you. And therefore you can clear rooms uh, without even trying. In conclusion, is it really worth uh, skipping treasure rooms uh, in order to get one of these items? In my opinion, no. There is only one instance when I intentionally try to get to Planetarium, and that is when I go to Beast. Because in that case, uh, I'm not really losing anything. I will visit those skipped treasure rooms on my way back home. Otherwise, skipping uh, treasure rooms that uh, have a lot of uh, quality for items and game-breaking items such as Tech X, Mom's Knife, Epic Hack, Dr. Fetus, D20, D Infinity and much more, just to get one of these items that somehow can help you, no, it is not worth it. And that was my personal planetarium tier list.